So, pop-up headlights. They're fun, right? The motors go bad, one of them is up, one of them is down. It's another body line to try to line up, which is actually what I'm gonna be working on here. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust the, um, the panel for the, the housing for the, for the headlights. There's a tendency to do it with the cover, right? Just get the cover and, and shim it or you like put some washers in and you know, just get some, you get some flexibility with this and it's in the holes that are in there, but not very much, but it's not really the right way to do it. The right way to do it is actually they give you the ability to do it right in the housing itself. So this is the plate that this mounts to and I'm going to show you how you can adjust it both up and down and, and different angles as well as rotationally side to side. All right, so you gotta have everything off, right? You gotta get to back to this. There's four screws on the corners here. I think on the LS models, there's five. They're, they're, they're more horizontal oriented. So there's more of these on the later model, the 98 and higher model Firebirds. But on this, there's four, four corners. And that will give you adjustment in any one of those, you know, leveling kind of ways. And then down inside here, are four screws in these holes that give you some movement this way and this way. So they kind of go at an angle and you can adjust them independently at least a little bit, which is in our case, we need a little bit. I'll show you what I'm working with here. I'll put this, just set this back on where it would go. So you can see here, I'm a little tight in this corner and I'm way out in this corner. Also, this corner is low. This one's pretty good, but this is also a little low. This one's a little high. And uh, I don't remember when the hood's closed. We'll have to check that one and close the hood. But so we'll get these adjusted. We'll start here and bring that one up. This is a T. I cannot read that. It's a T, very small Torx bit. And uh, these adjust, the way they adjust is this piece here basically is static. It's got the, that little sleeve on it. So as you adjust the screw, it's going to, the, think of this as the screw head. So when you adjust the screw, if you loosen it, if you pull it out, it's gonna pull this out. And if you tighten it down, it's gonna tighten it down. So we're really loosening in a way, this screw to rise this corner up. And you'll see it, it actually rises pretty fast. So if you turn it the wrong way, you'll be able to tell pretty quick. So just do a little bit at a time and then reset. You see this one's coming down as this one's going up. We'll raise that one up separately. There we go, that's better. But now that one's too low. So we're gonna raise this one up. Getting there, close. There, much better. Now, we're still a little bit of a funny angle. Sit on, there you go. Where this is a little bit wider here and narrows a little here, not very much though, like barely, barely noticeable. This is very narrow here and gets very wide out here. So I want to adjust this, but I don't want to, I'm going to kind of want to split the difference a little bit because things aren't exactly straight obviously. So I don't want to go too far because if I turn it, let me pull it off the, off the 
top there. If I turn it too far, then this pulls away. So I don't want to be too dramatic about it, but I just want to get kind of even it out a little bit so that it's as close to middle as possible. Probably right like that. So I'm gonna loosen this screw here. It's the same Torx in this one and this one. I'm gonna leave that one, try to make that my pivot point. All right, I'll have to loosen a little just so it'll rotate. There, not too much. There we go. Now let's check it again. So I went a little far. So now I'm nice and straight here, but now I'm way off here. The bumper is the, 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 the foam insert under here is a little bit tired. You can see I can pick it up and it gets a little closer. So this, this does sag just a little. So I'm gonna leave, I want this line to be good and straight because this is that, as you look down the car, it's gonna be that body line down the car. This one here, like the bumper comes a little short of it. You can actually see the edges of these clips in, in between the crack on the bumper and the hood. I don't love that, but that is what it is. And if this were to come up level, that would actually shore up quite a bit more. So I'm gonna err on the side of keeping this one straight and let this one be. If it's gonna be off, be off here, but it's a little bit much. So I'm gonna come back just a hair. There. There, I like that better. Much closer, it's closer here. We're still relatively straight here. I can't make it perfect because this car just isn't perfect. But we'll, now we'll tighten it back down. I'll reattach this. Uh, these panels here, just real quick, they have to kind of go on, um, the back ones have to go on down because you can't get to the back side, but then you got to raise it back up to get to the sides. Uh, these just have a little Allen key in them. So you just get the right Allen wrench and you can spin those up and down pretty fast. Let me see that screw again. I knew it was going to happen. It would be nice if GM had given us, given us access to those things without having to take this panel off every single time. But alas, they did not. It's not too bad. Now, before I go too crazy, or too confident, I guess I should say, let's, let's put the hood down and see where the hood lines up. Okay. So it's pretty even. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap here. The hood needs to come a little farther this way. I still have to do the hood adjustment, but it's at least an even edge here. And if I can move this hood forward about maybe a eighth or a quarter of an inch, that will take up a lot of that gap and line these two pieces up. So I'm happy with where this is right now. But uh, if not, then I can just take this back apart and do some more adjustment and get it exactly where I want it. All right, so there you go. That's, that's adjustment for pop-up headlights. Now, that same adjustment format, like the screws might be different places, that's true for the later generation Firebirds, it's true for the Corvettes, it's true for like any of those cars that have a pop-up headlight, they're gonna have some kind of a, an ability to adjust that plate on its orientation to the rest of the body. So it'd be a little bit different for the different cars, uh, but the concept's the same. Short and sweet, thanks for watching. See you next time.